Hey guys, Steve Forgash, Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques in lovely Smithville, Flats, upstate New York. Hey, um, I'm going to do a quick long video. Uh, you'll understand why when you see the place. Uh, I'm going to run you around and show you what I got. We're going to have a... Wait till the end of the video. I got a special deal for people who can hang out that long or fast forward to the end, whatever is easiest. All right, uh, I've been out of it for a while. Um, if you're a regular, I haven't done a YouTube video in probably a month and a half. Uh, we've just been busy. This room used to be full of electronics. Electronics, I was always one day going to go through tests and try to sell and well, that never happened. So, I figured what I would do is, I've got a big inventory of stuff that is listed on eBay. And it's basically just sitting in bins, just waiting to be bought on eBay. And eBay is dead. Dead, dead, dead. So I figured I'd bring that stuff out, put a red tag on it, so I know it's also listed online, and uh, put it out. For sale during my barn sales and uh, that's my story I'm sticking to it what I'm doing is uh, we're having let me start again we're uh, putting everything out here on the shelf obviously I totally lost track of what I was thinking um, we've cleaned up everything that's in here cleaned it up made sure it's in working order Unless it's a shelf sitter like, like that camera. Look at this camera. Isn't that cool? That's nice. I don't know what it is. What is it? Huh. I can't see that without my glasses. Something iMatic. But it's a cool just shelf sitter. Oh, Revere iMatic. We got lots of them. Uh, Anyway, this used to be the eBay room. Now it's not. We've got sewing machines. A lot of this stuff is listed. What we do is sell books and lots. I don't do singles anymore. We try to get like items together and just sell them in lots. Move them out. What is this? Uh, videotapes and books. Great 7 up sign. Oh, what I was going to say was, if there's anything you see here, um, I can ship anywhere. Anywhere on the planet. Um, just contact me through Facebook or YouTube or just Google Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques on, uh, on Google. Yeah, Google on Google. Okay. This is another room. Jordan's been working on this. Yeah, look me up and uh, you'll get all my platforms. I'm on Etsy, eBay, Mercari, Instagram, Facebook. What else is there? I don't know, but I'm there. Anything you see is for sale. Um, just contact me. Let me know where you live and I'll shoot you a price on shipping. I ship stuff out almost every other day. So it's no big deal. I can ship just about anything. And I have shipped just about everything. Stuff in here is mostly for projects. Lots of furniture parts, doors, shutters. Stuff for projects, frames. These are bed spindles. I did a cleanup on the whole room full of them. These are furniture parts, stuff that just got totally trashed. Instead of throwing it on the burn pile, I keep it here for people to make stuff out of. It's been working out. Um, hopefully this video isn't shaky like my last one was. Did a 20 minute video, I had to start all over again. We've got signs, tens. I bought over a thousand tins. A lot of repros, but they're repros from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So 
They're not authentic, but they are vintage at this point. Alright, we'll go into the big room. We'll hit the glass room first. We got a lot of uranium ware. Well, I guess not a lot by some people's standards. Uh, crystal, cut glass, uh, milk glass, lots of bases. We used to give them away or donate them at the point where, you know what, I got the room, let's put them up. People make things with them as well as use them for vases. We got Libby, Libby glasses, they're pretty cool. I had those when I was a kid. Uh, Crocs, um, now that the name of that just went out of my head, Corningware, there you go. Got a few pieces left. Great purple Astro. Look at that, huh? Wow, six bucks. Damn. Pretty good. So, yep. If there's anything you see, let me know. Leave a comment or get in touch with me directly. Uh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Ah, I can't see it. It's atomic. Alright, yeah, drip glaze. We got lots of hull. We've been selling a lot of this stuff. Whenever I do a cleanup, I bring three, four pieces home. I always grab them at garage sales. This is the big room. The big, big, big room. It's going to take a couple of minutes. These wicker mannequins, busts, I guess, I don't know what the hell you call them. 40 bucks each. We've got cast iron. That's dwindling down. Hubcaps. I just bought a whole pickup truck full of hubcaps. So they'll be coming out soon. Calculators. DVD player. Foosball table. More cut glass. This is crystal, I think. Ah, can't tell. Pretty sure that's crystal. Got my sculptures still here. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. These are cool. These guys I'm keeping until I can find some way to replicate them. If you know anybody that does latex molds, please contact me. It's the religious wall, I guess you'd call it. I got a lot more to put up here. Check out that mirror. It's about four feet wide, two feet high. Paint by number, Last Supper. This is a 3D. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick it up with the camera. Some rotten little kid knocked her over, broke her stand. I'm gonna fix it. We got some nice big old mirrors. Look at that, huh? This one's wow, it's almost in perfect condition. Almost all the ones I got like this, the plaster's broken. It's a nice shape. I actually prefer them when they're distressed like that. There's a big one. And these guys. Look at that face. The face a mother could love. There's the Jets thing. That's pretty cool. I put that about two years ago thinking that would not hang around long. Nope. Still here. Pick these guys up. Calf canister set. Brass platoon. That's um Union Pacific. It's a replica, but I think it's a replica. Tons of lamps. Tons and tons and tons of lamps. Really cool old toasters.
bundling up old books to sell as, guess what? Bundles! Imagine that. They look good just sitting on a shelf. Got a great poker chip set. Yep. More lamps. Shoe molds. Green porcelain light shade. Get this little dresser. Probably two feet wide, two and a half feet high. Got a great mid century lamp. Some type of sculpture. Drip glaze. This, I don't know, looks like a rock. It's a great room divider. It's lacquer finish. Probably 1950s Asian cherry blossom. Got a really cool hay fork. This thing's wild. I've got another one in there with the carriage. Entire set. We usually don't find them together. A great collection of canes. Another mirror wall. Vintage clothing. We've got a bunch. These are handmade dresses I picked out of some cleanup I did. Buy out. Look at that. I think it's a silk robe. This cash register is a piece of work. Got to weigh 200 pounds. The thing is huge. If anybody knows anything about it, let me know. I don't get it. I'm thinking it might have gone in a maybe a warehouse kind of situation. I don't know. But for an old register like that to go up to nine hundred dollars, man. Wow. More lamps. Imagine that. Statues. Really wild tin box. Somebody popped the lock off, but it's in there. Penny farthing. Thing stands about three foot tall. I'm guessing it's for kids. <laughs> Good guess, huh? Yeah. Sewing machine boxes that we had to take apart. They were trashed. Crystal decanters. Cut glass decanters. I thought they'd be a big hit. Eh, not really. We got Alf. Nice poop emoji. All this stuff here. I think there's a little too much. I got a customer coming soon, so I better make it quick. Isn't that a cool crystal ball? About eight inches. Got another one up here. Those are the cabinets I used to make. Lots of old tins. Again, if you see something you like, let me know. I can ship anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. Yep. Look at those three samurai swords. Need a trombone. Need a velvet deer painting. Picked up this wood eagle carving somewhere. I don't remember where. Even the grocery signs for sale. I think I got two fifty on it. This room we built out of salvage. Everything you see in here was taken from buildings that we tore down. I took a rafter out, supported it, and made a little, uh, like a vaulted section in there. Used some old schoolhouse lights I had. 
did the floor out of an old barn wood, out of old barn wood. And we ran short, so I had to use some spools from a cable, cable spool, about five foot wide. What else we got? We got a giant caribou rack. Look at the size of that thing. It's got to be a four foot spread, two, four, five, ten point up top. I don't know what you call the bottom. Got some really cool swords. What happened to my... Hmm. I had another sword here. Huh. I don't know. Cookie jars, birds. Well, I just sold two, three of these old electric coffee pots. Look at that clock. Nice, huh? And Jemima. More glazeware. These really cool electric things. I guess they're insulators. Vendors that I know going out of business selling everything. So I bought about four truckloads of stuff from him. I guess his father knew somebody in the electrical business. I don't know. Somebody's calling me. Sorry about that. Buttons. Lots of buttons. I think I just sold a big bottle last weekend. A sock monkey. I was hoping this was a stife. Nope. I don't think so. Giant cabbage slicer. This thing's about four feet tall. Maybe three and a half. Greater, maybe. 29 bucks. Hmm. Look at that color, huh? Oof. Uh, wow. Got these. I don't usually buy lamps. I usually get them when I'm doing estate buys or clean outs. But those I actually paid for. Pretty cool cut glass. Nice pair. Get more lamps in there. There's a dresser I just picked up oh, about a month or so ago. Look at that cat. It was a pair, but the other one was broken. It's a shame. Larry's still here with his bunny, keeping an eye on the place. So that's it. I guess I bored you enough. And now, if you've waited this long, I am doing a sale this weekend, 25% off everything in the barn, everything and anything. It's all got to go. I have to make room for new stuff coming in. Um, I've got probably two truckloads of stuff. I'm talking a 14 foot cargo van, two truckloads, and that's all got to brought out here. I don't have room. So help me out. Buy some stuff. You get 25% off. That includes everything. Nice window, huh? Everything. Everything and anything. Every time I walk around here, I see something new. Um, so yeah, come on in. Get some cool stuff. Believe it or not, what is September 2nd? Christmas is coming up quick. So come on and get some cool stuff. All right. I think we're about done. That's the rest of the barn. Everything out here also is for sale. I don't have time to run around there. We're already at 20 minutes. 
lot. I've got doors, windows, shutters, building supplies, all kinds of barn wood, you name it. Or paint tanks, all this stuff. I got candles, candles up the wazoo. All those are candles. There's about 150 boxes, four different kinds. Uh, peach, marshmallow, lavender, I don't know. We got plates. I bought a, a bunch of inventory. Um, got a fuel injector cleaner. Two bucks a bottle. I'll give you a deal on a box. Great old cool Coleman. There's my other Larry. He's bummed out. Fishing poles. Hand saws. Ladders. Ladders. Shovels. Uh, yokes for your oxen. All this stuff. Yeah, man. Mucho, mucho. Look at all these grinders. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 12, 3, 4, 4, 5, 15. 15 of them. And there's parts of grinders over there. Wow. Barn sale. Jordan's been busy. All this stuff, too. I'd like to get this out of here before winter. So, that's it, guys. Remember, 25% off. Come on down if you're in the, in the neighborhood. If you're not, get in touch with me. Google me. Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques in Smithville Flats, New York. Um, or YouTube or Facebook. Whatever. Get a hold of me. Talk to you soon. Hope you had a great, hope you have a great weekend. And um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the share button, and uh, I don't know, be good. See you.